So you want a unity speech. You want a unity speech. I'll give you a unity speech. I don't care who our candidate is. And I haven't since the beginning of this. I haven't. Ask not what the candidate can do for you. Ask what you can do for the candidate. And that's what the Tea Party is. We are there to confront them on behalf of our candidate. I will march behind whoever our candidate is, because if we don't, we lose. There are two paths. There are two paths. One is America, and the other one is Occupy. One is America, the other one is Occupy. Along the way, along the way, along the way, and I'm not a candidate, I'm never going to be a candidate, I'm just a goofball from Los Angeles who wears goofy shoes, promised people I would shave, didn't, promised people I'd take a shower, I got too caught up talking to everybody, and here I am, kind of a mess, but kind of excited to be here, because over the last three years, I've realized that the Republican Party and the conservative movement is not what ABC and CBS puts on the screen. They try to portray you in the worst possible light. And when I walk through CPAC or I travel the United States to meet people in the Tea Party who care, black, white, gay, and straight, anyone that's willing to stand next to me to fight the progressive left, I will be in that bunker. And if you're not in that bunker because you're not satisfied with this candidate, more than shame on you, you're on the other side. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to tell you right now, I want to end it on a media bashing note because that will uplift me like a Dion Warwick final rendition. We're watching you to play the race card, MSNBC. We saw how you cynically placed the Reverend Sharpton in a position of absurdist power. This is Dadaism, I learned that in college, that they would allow for this guy to have a show. This is Dadaism. It's freaky, it's Andy Kaufman. It doesn't make sense unless you understand what they're doing. This is going to be the dog whistle election cycle. They tested him in 2011, so he and his pal Toure, and that punk Tim Jacob Wise, and Ed, and Maddow can sit there and call everyone who's Caucasian racist. I heard it. I, he used is instead of are. He's a racist. That's a dog whistle. Ignore it when Congressman Rand does it against Alan West. No more. We're going to go after you. I bought a dog whistle. I bought a dog whistle factory, and I'm giving you dog whistles. And we're going to listen to every word that comes out of your mouth, and we're going to hold you to the same standard that you hold to us, which is an impossible one, and you're going to have a hell of a time in 2012 because America has finally awoken to your Saul Alinsky bullshit tactics, and we're coming to get you. Thank you very much.